over and over and over again. I just came downstairs and this candle smells so good. It's called Golden Hour from the Magnolia brand at Target. And we had it on yesterday for like, I don't know, an hour or two. It smells amazing still. The whole area down here just smells so good. Good morning. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go potty? Yes, okay, go ahead. COVID survey really quick. It's just something we have to fill out every day before we go to school. It's just a check-in to see how you're feeling. <laughs> All the things. No, no. Like, are you experiencing new loss or smell? Thankfully, no. I did get my vaccine. I'm fully vaccinated now. I don't know if I spoke about my experience. The first the first one, I just had like a little bit of chills at night and then I was okay. The second one, it hit me 24 hours after, just chills. But I used a heating pad, took Tylenol, went to sleep. The next morning I woke up and like, new person. So I'm really thankful that I have it. One of my students got me this cup. Oh, and it's Teacher Appreciation Week. If you are a teacher, I appreciate you and love you so much. This is such a tough year for teachers. I'm sure last year was too when March broke out, but every year is already tough enough for teachers. So if you know a teacher, hug it. Well, don't hug a teacher. Mm -mm, socially distance uh, butterfly or just thank a teacher because it really does mean the world to them I love hearing from my previous students it's just so full circle for me because I was that student that would email the teacher and whatnot so it just means so much but anyways I'm going to drive to school now I have packages in the back I really hope I have time to go to the post office after school that's like one of the hardest things um, as far as like our hours go by the time I get out of school everything's closed so I like, can't make a doctor's appointment or I can't like go to the post office but I'm gonna try really hard if I get out on time with Carline and everything I should be able to make it to the post office to send those and I've been procrastinating it because of that reason mainly because of the bell so we're gonna do that and I'll see you when I get to school How is 
is it already May? Let me show you what I do. Wow, this one is really upset her. <laughs> At the beginning of the school year, I just printed this out. Well, I printed many out, all different months. So this is May. And then I take these little magnets from Amazon and they're sticky on the back. This is like a classroom must have. And you just stick it on the back and it's ready to go. Comes in a pack like this. It's very messy right now. But you just stick it off when you're done. Put it on here and this will go on the board. So that way I don't have to write May over and over and over again. I have things to do. Things to do, people to see. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have no one to see. If I have time today, I want to write these letters for a year of gratitude. My best friend got me this a long time ago. And there's these really cute envelopes in here. Like it says, thanks for being you. And then on the inside, um, there's letter paper. So I'm gonna write a few teachers, some cards. Turn my board on. And then we plug this in. So usually what I broadcast is just a little welcome screen. Let's double check what we're doing today. Oh, how cute. Was Google's thing for teacher appreciation? Mm, it is. Is it a video? It's loading. Happy teacher appreciation. To Happy celebrate, we bring you five real stories showing meaningful impact educators. Oh, that's cute. They have different stories on here. Love that. Love to see that, Google. All right, so when they walk in, this is what they see. Welcome to Writing Workshop. Digital Journal. DIY Character. We have a little character mixer today. I'll go over that with you during my planning or lunch. And then we have a final project, guidelines, rubric, questions. Just to give you some quick background, the students are working on their final projects. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, but for 6th grade, they're working on final stories, and for the story, they have to obviously have original characters in it, so I had them kind of create their own character last class. I made a Google slide, and it takes them in a strategic order, so their character statistics, what's their character's name, is it a human, is it a cucumber, um, how old is the character, what is the character like, just all the things written out and then by the end they have a character and they wrote a summary or an about me in first person um, embodying the character. And today we're gonna have a character mixer for the warm up, and they're gonna get to, I mean, they have to stay in their seats because of COVID, but they can face each other and introduce themselves as if they were the character, and I'm having them do that so they really can get into the character's mind, and I'm just excited. Um, we did a lot of character building and developing last class. Uh, I don't remember the Google site off the top of my head, but it was like what I said, statistics, um, their setting, their appearance, their relationships, their routines, all things important before writing a story because we talked about like Frozen, for example, like the, the writers of Frozen need to know Elsa before writing about a whole Arendelle kingdom and this whole story. They have to really know Elsa, know who she is, understand her powers, um, and then through the writing, she really can come alive. So I want the students to be able to do that as well. All right, I'm gonna hang up with y'all. <laughs> Press pause so I can put on some music. Let's do coffee shop acoustics this morning. Sounds so nice. All right, I'm gonna go open my door, but first, Let's do it. Okay, I just finished a little snack. I had the best gluten-free pretzels. I'm gonna put a picture of the actual bag here. They are so good, so crunchy. The perfect amount of salt. Cannot say enough good things. And then I had a mini um, honey crisp apple with almond butter. The honey crisp apples at Trader Joe's come in a bag and you can get a bunch of them for like $2.99. But at other grocery stores, it's like $2.99 per apple. I don't understand it. So Trader Joe's is the way to go and it's like the perfect little, you know, nosh. Anyways, I got my blue light glasses on. I am doing some planning right before lunch and this video is in partnership with Warby Parker. I absolutely love them for always supporting my channel. Warby Parker is where I get my glasses from. I first went to their Miami store like 
three-ish years ago to get my first pair. I was so excited to get Warby Parker glasses and I didn't even know at the time that you could actually try them on at home for free. So it was like a big trip to Miami for me. Now we have some more local stores. They are amazing and they have such a commitment to just providing us with eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, contact lenses. Whenever I go into the store, it's such an amazing experience, but you also get that experience online as well, which is great. I ordered my try on kit and I always bring it to school because I like to ask my coworkers, what do you think about these or the students middle schoolers will be so honest with you so i want to show you the top three pairs that i am looking at i really want a new pair of glasses for summer i also want a pair of sunglasses i've never gotten sunglasses from warby so i think um later this month i'm going to try on sunglasses and i will report back to you but let me know what you think i'm going to try on three of these for you right now be honest okay i absolutely love these these are called the ezra in gold these are similar to the simons that i have i just i'm a big fan of like clear glasses i know the glare it's kind of hard to tell and these are super affordable as well they start at 95 dollars. and usually what i'll do is to this day i will go on the website and i will fill out the quiz and they'll suggest glasses these were actually actually suggested for me i'm obsessed with these I know you guys are gonna laugh at me, but like I played Frenchie in Grease the Musical and are these not the most Frenchie like teacher glasses? Take your seat. Like I would wear these to school. Like these are my new blue light glasses. I just love the edges. I think they might be a little too big for my face. But is that what makes them fun? Okay, I have tried on a pair like these before and I love, 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 love. What are these called? These are the... Hemmings and then the teachery ones, the Frenchy ones, those are called the Fay. Of course, they're called the Fay. Tortoise, these are Hughes. Tortoise, I love the tortoise material as well. Material, love the tortoise design. Oh, these are really cute. So hard to make a decision every single time. Uh, and then these are the ones that I already have. I forgot the name of these. I bought these a long time ago, but if I remember the name, I'm gonna put it on. The screen oh it's jane 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 because i watched jane the virgin i was like oh these are my jane glasses but these are like the perfect fit see how they go out a little bit yeah i love these and i, I did get the blue light lens so you could always add that on blue light no blue light it just depends what you want to do at checkout what's best for you so these five glasses that i have i got for free they literally come in this beautiful box all packaged up for you they ship free to your house you try them on they even give you a shipping label so you just package it back up put the shipping label on and drop it off at the mail store or wherever you drop off your mail i know that we've all been spending a lot of time at home so it's really nice that we have this freedom to order them online take that quiz pick some out and just try them on and what i love about it is you see me i try on green ones i try on pink ones i try on all different colors and sometimes i surprise myself at what i like if you want to check out warby parker i have a link here that you can visit and this link will allow you to order five pairs of glasses to try on at home for free for five days there is no obligation to buy them they ship for free they include a prepaid return label that you just ship right back to them and yeah you can try on five glasses for free with the link this vlog is definitely going to be a two-part vlog it has been such a wild morning already so a few things that i want to tell you i we do this thing here it's like a buddy system where the younger kids are with our older middle school students and with covid it's been really tough so we do a lot over zoom but the buddies just made our eighth graders signs and i'm making a video for that so my camera is just like naturally dying because of that so i have to start editing that and i'm also planning the eighth grade graduation breakfast with one of my coworkers and we have a meeting about that today so i want to get everything organized i kind of talked about this but whenever i have an idea that i'm pitching i always like to make a document or a folder just so there's no questions i've really learned from the administrative side of things there's always a lot of logistics that go into things and i got a lot of that experience with dance marathon i really like plan that from the ground up over at my old school so i learned that there are so many logistics so many questions and it's so much more than let's just do this fun event or this fun breakfast so we have a lot to plan a lot to do i am going to work on that today the character mixer was so funny it was so funny. They, I was like overhearing their conversations. The requirements were 
for them to embody their character they had to face a partner group of three and they had to introduce themselves and then the other characters had to ask them at least three questions those questions could have come from the google slide that we did the prior class so they could talk about their morning routine what they eat for dinner what they do for fun all those things um and i love seeing the students get into character i think theater and art is so essential and you absolutely can mix it into your content um no matter if you're a science teacher writing teacher whatever you do so we're also working on um story structure and just plotting everything out and getting it organized for their final stories and yeah, that's really what today is. I have one more sixth grade class tomorrow. I have seventh grade. I've already taught all the eighth graders. So we're done with eighth grade. It's just been wild year. I'm so excited for lunch. I'm really hungry. I have um some deli meat with a little side salad and rice cake. And sometimes like I'll get some pita or like a hard boiled egg or something like that just to mix it in what if they were big things right what if the little things were big things in our life and we did more of the big things that brought us joy would we be happier so what are three things that bring you joy next day yesterday ended up getting super busy what else is new with the end of the school year right excited for today because we are doing the character mixer again so we're on block schedule so i basically repeat what i did the day before but it's always nice learning from the first class even though i always apologize to them like you were my first class doing this thank you for being you and rolling with it but we always correct things as we go i think that's a big part of teaching is just trying things out seeing what works seeing what does not work and then making edits as you go so today i'm just going to make sure that um they have a few more examples of what to ask each other because if not it could just get really silly and you want to make sure that they're staying in character and that they have a clear direction on what they're going to talk about because i love incorporating theater into my lessons but when you do that you just want to be really specific with your expectations and that way it's not so silly it's okay to be a little silly especially this year i want them to be able to laugh and enjoy themselves because for the most part like they're so strong they show up to school every day or they're on zoom and they wear their mask and it's it's so much and um they've gone through so much all of these kids ranging from elementary to high school just in the past year and i'm so proud of them i also got this new apple watch band and um oh my gosh everyone's like may the fourth be with you but it's from shop andy and i absolutely love these it's like a scrunchie so all you have to do is just swipe it off swipe it off take it off and then you can just slide it back on i have a few other ones as well but i really like this one although i really don't want to ruin it when i work out even though i think some of them are sweat resistant but i went on a 45 minute run yesterday i did not run the whole time um but i think i need to wear my one from apple when i go running just because i don't want to ruin this so that's everything this morning i washed my hair last night it's like groundbreaking i just let it uh naturally dry and kind of slept on it so it's a little flat but we are rolling with it i didn't want to put any heat on it this morning so that is that. So tip that i have just try not to put heat on your hair and use a comb or a wet brush when you're done and now i'm just blabbing and blabbing and blabbing so i will check in with you later today all right i just had my morning class and now my next one's coming in soon it's snack but i think they're eating outside today i have apple slices this is the um honey crisp apple i was telling you about from trader joe's i cut it this morning and then a little almond butter and just so delish love a little morning snack sometimes i'm like i don't even know what to tell you because the day just goes by so fast but here's something I wanted to talk about. I just got a question and I thought this was a really good question. It was in my um, messages on Instagram and someone said, I have really bad anxiety. How do I teach? And I am someone who also has terrible anxiety. And after the shooting happened, I only got worse with it. There were days where something would trigger me and i would just completely break down or have to go in the closet but my students really understood because this was like right when we returned right and 
I was finding out information and I was given things and it was just very, very difficult. But I think today, in my world today, as far as teaching and anxiety, it's a lot different. Um, there are days where I wake up in the morning anxious and I'm like, oh God. Um, so I just try to do all the things that I know I can control. And I'm not saying oils or rituals can solve things, but they do make things better for me. I put lavender on my wrist. I keep some in here. I do deep breathing in the morning and make sure that I had a breakfast so that I feel full. I also surround myself by plants and I sit by a window. I know this sounds silly, but being near the sun in life helps me so much. Um, sometimes they say like think of five things you see, five things you smell, five things you can touch. Like when you recognize your senses, it kind of grounds you in a way. Wimaze is an app that I talk about all the time. They are my family friends and I just absolutely love them. And I hold some of their mantra cards with me. This one says you get in life what you have the courage to ask for from Oprah. That's what it looks like. But I have so many of their cards in my drawer and I give them out to students too. But reading mantras, writing things down, journaling with my students during our free rides, I really just try to cope. I also go to therapy and I see a doctor and, you know, I don't know if, if you take certain medicine or if you have certain um, medical rituals that you take, but I do think seeing a therapist is one of the best things that we can do. You don't even have to have a reason to go to therapy. You can just go. It's Mental Health Awareness Month, and now more than ever, I I just hope that people recognize how important mental health is, and you don't have to go through a big tragedy to take care of yourself or pour into yourself. And I love you all, and I just say this because I care, and I want you to care about yourself too. So that is my spiel sometimes it's like how do you teach with anxiety you do and other days you don't if you need to take a mental health day you can do that too you are worthy you are beautiful you're smart you are important i love you all and i hope you had a wonderful one and i'll see you all in the next video bye everyone